Send her army that I is... have a million questions. <laughs> I, I'm so, I... Hey everybody, welcome into the recap, Game of Thrones edition, season eight, episode five. I am here, Jake Frank travels with the Redskins Maester. Maester. Hey, Nick Sunberg. Yes, sir. Thanks for joining me. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Do you feel like that's an appropriate title for where you are in the locker room at least? Game yeah, yeah, that works. Okay. I like it. I've heard a lot that you, you are the really expert of this show. Today. <laughs> Expert's a strong word. I read a lot pre, post, episode, that sort of thing. I dig deep for information. Okay, well, before we get into some of the categories, just general impressions this was a very divisive episode five the bells so i i want to preface this with i love this this season as a whole and i think they're doing a great job i think there's a couple things that i've been disappointed with with the kind of the way things have played out but i'm not i'm not upset at the season as a whole i, I like some people are freaking out what's the biggest thing that you're the way cersei died the way cersei died absolutely to just have a building collapse was i think particularly lazy especially since jamie made it back to her after being stabbed a few times that was the perfect occasion to have him stab her, but we just didn't get it. Let's get to best moment. I have a few. Uh, Varys getting burned by Drogon. Now, I know that's not, in the all scheme of things, that's not a huge climactic part, but it was pretty impressive. I saw the dragon. Visually was, coming out of the dark. dark. Absolutely. That was phenomenal, the way they put that together. The Klee game ball. Pretty pretty exciting. The hound in the mountain. Yes. Visually, very impressive, too. Yeah, and I think they, they did a really good job of visually showing you that the hound was overcoming so many fears at that moment. And then to to have him, them both gonna go over the edge into the flames was pretty epic. Tough out for uh, Kyburn. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that, so even that was mo a more dramatic death than Cersei's, right? Yeah. The other two I had was obviously Daenerys on the dragon, <laughs> burning the entire King's yes. Landing. We can get into that. And then Jamie and Euron fighting each other, I thought was pretty cool. So I didn't mind it. I just thought it was the least needed fight scene of the entire series. It's true, although Euron got uh, a little bit more into his character. That was really, his his ambition seemed to be more than Cersei, it was just to kill Jaime. Right, he wanted to be a Kingslayer, right? Right. right. But he could have just drowned. Episode MVP. I got a few. Arya, I put up there because she, she stayed alive. She nearly helped a, a family escape. Nearly. Although that, that wasn't really the wisest decision. And she also rejected getting vengeance, which basically saved her life. Right. I'll, I'll list some other ones. Sure, yeah, let's. Uh, Drogon? Yeah. Uh, I think that he, he basically flexed here. He did. Um, I mean, that's the kind of crazy thing is, you know, we've seen dragons be taken down by a spear, by, right. you know, five of those arrows last episode. And then to see him dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge, and, yeah. uh, you know, and destroying everything was pretty awesome. I had the hound because he did finally. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and then Khaleesi at the end. What was your take on how that all unfolded? I think overall it felt in tune with her character's progression, but it also felt unearned because we didn't really feel the entire emotional shift that she had in the course of this season. Right, like the emotional shift should have taken place over two seasons yes. instead it happened in one episode. Right. The only way to rule was by fear. The people right. of of King's Landing weren't ever gonna love her, so she had to make a decision. And she made it, which it is what it is. I'm glad it happened, <laughs> to be honest. It's crazy to say, but it, yeah. it was awesome. Best quote. Um, I've got a few. This one uh, at the beginning was Varys talking to Jon Snow. They say that every time a Targaryen is born, the gods toss a coin and the world holds its breath. Obviously very true here. Right. Um, Dan Daenerys saying, I don't have love here, I only have fear. We just talked about that. Right. I like that one. Um, Tyrion said, you were the only one who didn't treat me like a monster. You were all I had. Right, Tyrion that one Jamie. almost made me tear up when he was talking to Jaime. That was uh... That's probably the, one of the best relationships that's happened on the show. Yeah, um, definitely. You think about the time period and how he's so cast out and thought of as just such a bad person because of the way he was born, right? And uh, cast away and everything. And Jamie was really the only one that treated him like a real person. And then the last one, Cersei. Yeah. <laughs> the Red Keep has never fallen. It won't fall today. And then a few minutes later, <laughs> tears rolling down her eyes. Uh, yeah, that was... That was uh, what was she doing up there? She's just sitting there, she's standing, just Well, gobsmacked. especially, it's not like, I mean, you're watching a dragon destroy all these giant... Scorpions. The scorpions, yeah. right. I mean, I really just figured they were gonna have Daenerys fly to the Red Keep. Okay, before we go, questions, predictions for the big finale. What's next for uh, Daenerys and her army that I is... have a million questions. <laughs> I know, there's probably uh, not enough for... Right, what's next one. for Bran? Where right. where has he been? Why, like, what... I, I'm so... I'm really frustrated with his character arc. 
and how he's literally done nothing but be bait. Come on, Bran. Well, Bro. here's the big question for you. Who in your mind sits on the Iron Throne at the end of next Sunday night? I mean, they're setting it up to be Jon, and I would assume they're gonna have Arya kill Daenerys. Right. Does he want it, though? That's the question. I mean, it's... I. I at what point does it not become his choice? It's true too. Right? Yeah. All right, well, before we go, I need you to do the honors, Nick. Heck yeah. I'm excited. Cersei. This will be a more impactful death than she actually got. We'll actually see. <laughs> there we go. Rest in peace. Nope. Rest in something. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in the rubble. Terrible person. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week for the big finale.